Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here playing some more Scrap Mechanic. Today we're going to be looking at a viewer creation, but this is by no normal viewer. This is by Mr. Moonbow. Now a lot of you guys might have heard that name. I've showcased a couple of his builds before and he sent me a new world to showcase. Now I'm a big fan of his channel. He's got an absolutely fantastic set of creations on there. I would highly suggest checking it out. Now, if you're going to want to download for this, you're going to need to go to his Alien Mothership video to download this world. I do not host viewer creation downloads. But yeah, he sent me all this and I've been going through it for the past half hour and it's just absolutely amazing the amount of detail that he does in his builds. These are all vanilla parts. There's no mods going on here and everything flies. Everything's just great. I, I'm almost really jealous of how awesome his creations are. I really wish I could put some of this stuff together. But yeah, this was from his more recent builds. He's got an alien mothership over here. Now, this is the one that I'm probably not going to fly around too much. One, because I suck at flying it. And two, this is the video that actually has the download. So I'm going to link that in the description for you guys to check out. Now, what we are going to check out today, he's got an F-35 over here. It's a fighter jet. And he's also got a Black Hawk helicopter. F-35 looks fantastic. I'll open up the spider web here in a second on both of these creations. And let's see, there's the Black Hawk sign. And here is, let me get in front of it, the Black Hawk. Look at that. Absolutely fantastic. But yeah, we're going to check a couple of these out. I'm going to attempt to fly these today. Probably isn't going to be pretty so you're probably gonna see a lot of jump cuts in this video because there's gonna be a lot of crashing but anyways let's go ahead and dive into this here all right here's the Black Hawk helicopter now the US military has been using these for a long time and we're still using these things today I'm not sure if this is based on a certain model or not I'm not hundred percent sure on that but let me go ahead and pull up the spider web here and yeah that's there's so much going on in just a tight space. I couldn't even begin to tell you like what's happening here. I normally like to do that on viewer creations to try to explain maybe what I think is going on. But with Moonbow's creations, I have no clue. So let's go ahead and open that and check out the interior here. Real nice, detailed. Got the new glass in the front. Got a mini gun there on the side. Tons of buttons and thrusters. Uh, I turn off the particle effects so you cannot see the thrusters actually light up. It just makes it look so much better. But anyways, let's uh, attempt to fly this here. Control scheme, he uses a pretty standard control scheme for all of his aircraft. So if you kind of get used to flying one of them, you can somewhat fly the others. They all still have their little quirks. Like this one here tends to shift really fast for me, like the weight from left to right. So it's a kind of a handful to keep up with at times. Uh, he's definitely mastered it much, much better than I have. Of course, this is his creation, so. Now, one thing that you're going to probably hear me complain about a lot as I try to maintain altitude here is the whole fact that Scrap Mechanic's camera is weird. Like, I really wish, and I don't know if this is moddable or not, but I would love, like, a locked camera. I, like, I would like to be able to, like, turn it to the back and lock it to the rear because it's just absolutely, it's hard to fly with. But yeah, I'm going to try to do my best here to at least give you really good angles while I'm flying around. Uh, here's what it looks like from the rear and this is as far as the camera goes back so it's kind of awkward. Like, the alien craft that he has over there is, you have to fly almost from first person to even somewhat understand where you're going. So that's the uh, one unfortunate thing about Scrap Mechanic, and I'm swaying a bit here. Hopefully I don't crash. I've actually done pretty good with his flying, like all of his flying creations. I've, I think the worst one for me was the Chinook the first time, because that was my first build that I've ever checked out of his. And I absolutely could not fly that at all, so. Yeah, he's got everything uh, pretty well mapped here, uh, as far as the way the thrusters activate, push forward. The uh, WASD kind of steers it from left to right, but you can also bank it with, I believe it's the 5 and 6 key, and I'm banking too hard here. Trying to talk and keep up. I'm absolutely keyboard dancing right now. So when you see me, like, move the camera and try to reposition it, like, I'm having to take one hand off the keyboard, and, oh, I'm going to crash here. I'm going to crash. This is going to be pretty. Actually, I think I'm going to hit the invisible wall on the end. 
Well, this is crash number one of the day. Let's see if we can... No, I'm not going to save it. Ooh. Well, wow, I actually hopped through the uh, cockpit there. And we are on the blades. Oh, that's great. Okay, let me go park this and we'll reset. Uh, okay. Trying to make sure I miss the mountain here. There we go. All right, everything's going pretty pretty good. I've only crashed once. The only that bad thing, I really wish there was just a quick reset where I can go back to like the spawn point in the beginning. Because having to walk all the way over to the other side, it's kind of a pain. Like I know it's going to be bad with the F-35. This one's not as bad because it can take off just straight up in the air. But I know I'm going to have some issues with that F-35 because I actually think that one needs like some area to take off. And I believe I'm going to crash again. <laughs> How's this? It's this one corner that keeps attracting the helicopter. Like, this is where I crashed earlier. Oh, actually, you know what? Nope, yeah, I'm crashed. No, I'm stuck against the wall here. Sorry, Moondo, if I'm making your creations not, like, making it look like they're not flying well, because trust me, they really do. You just kind of have to go watch his videos to watch these things actually fly. Uh, let's go reset again. All right, coming in low. Oh, avoid the rock. Oh, that was close. I just want to land this thing on the ground, to be honest with you. Uh, I'm not able to fly this one as good as I thought I was going to be able to, but still controls great. It's just I can't keep up with it. Trying to maneuver the camera and trying to actually control the craft itself, it's pretty hard. Actually, no, it's really hard. But yeah, that's the Black Hawk helicopter. Let's go check out that F-35 because I have a feeling that one's going to be absolutely fun to fly. All right, this is the F-35. As you can see, the spider web is quite complicated, probably even more complicated than the Black Hawk. But you know what? I'm not even going to attempt to go over this. Let's go ahead and try to fly this thing. Now, there's a button here on the side. This opens up the cockpit and a little step comes out. So let's hop on this. Now, on the inside here behind the cockpit, there's a little area you can crawl down in if you need to adjust the thrusters, but I'm assuming he's got everything set up perfect, so I'm not going to mess with those. Now, one cool thing about this cockpit, he's got a little computer. Let me go on the inside here. It kind of goes up and down. It's like a little targeting system, so that's a nice little touch. But anyways, let's try to fly this. Now, I'm going to activate the thrusters. There come the back thrusters. The key is to pitch the nose up and make the thrusters work against the ground. And <laughs> No, we're going to... No, no. No, no crashing. Okay, let's try. Oh! You know, and actually the ground helped us there. It pitched us up. You know, one thing I probably forgot to do. He's got, I think it's nine. It activates some extra back thrusters. And those will actually help push the aircraft up when you're trying to take off. So I probably should have used those. But yeah, this aircraft is really stable. The last time I flew, uh, the last time I flew it... It was with him in the world, and I was getting some lag. A lot of times when you go into somebody else's world and try to fly, it's kind of kind of laggy. So this is my first time actually getting like that instant response, and oh crap, I might fly into some trees here. Let me try to fly up here. Yeah, I might as well just try to give you some really cool angles of the thing flying, because I'm going to crash it a lot. So let's see. Where do I want to go from here? get above the tree line and stay above it. that's the ultimate goal but yeah look at that that's awesome I mean, it looks spot on for what he's got in scrap mechanic now I'm sure if you had like the gray go mod or something like that you could really come close but with the uh, default or vanilla blocks he's definitely done a really good job now if you like I said if you want to download these these are gonna be on his channel and oh crap come on go up go up all right, we're going to hit our first crash in the F-35 here, and there's a tree. Ooh, that looked like it hurt. Okay, we've parked against the tree. Let's go back to base and reset this thing. All right, we are flying once again. Now, I almost drifted into the invisible wall over there, but thankfully I missed that. I'm trying to think of what I should do here. Maybe I should try some sort of stunts. He was really good about being able to like flip this thing over and spin it around. I can turn. That's about all I can do. Let's see. Man, if they could really fix this camera. Like, get on it. If they could if they could do that and make it where I can fix the angle, it would make crafts like this probably much easier to fly. 
but that is not possible. Now, you're probably asking yourself, why don't you fly from the inside in? Yeah, that's the view. It's really hard to see. Now, I think there's a mod, there is a mod that fixes the glass, but hopefully they naturally change the color because I really would love to not have lines where you can just see right through. That and the glass by default is really foggy, so. Uh, let's see, where do we want to go here? Maybe I should try to land. That would go extremely well. So where is the landing pad? Hmm. Let me try to turn it real quick. Oh crap. Oh, we're falling again. No, no we're not. Oh, if I can save this, this would be excellent. There we go. You know what? It's almost like I stalled it there and it just started to go down and actually we're not done yet. Come on. Okay, if I can reach over and turn this camera just a little bit. You know, let's just try to work with the camera. Maybe we can, oh wow. That was awesome! Okay, I really did think I was gonna crash there, but we're good now. Yeah, this is really hard to talk over and try to fly it all at the same time, so... Hopefully you're enjoying the footage that I am getting, because it still looks really good. Now, about that landing, I'm thinking the runway's over there to the right? Or is it back? No? No, it should be up in this corner. Just gotta wait for it to, uh, render. Actually, you know what? I think I see the, uh alien ship hmm oh actually not oh is that the wall you know let's try to get off it here actually I might be able to save it this might be two saves this might be definitely this is gonna be a record for saves here there we go we're off the wall now I can see the alien mothership so the runway is actually angled to the right hmm I don't think I'm gonna be able to hit that it's so close to the invisible wall, I don't think I'm going to be able to make that turn. You know what? I've got a, got a plan here. Let's just try to land on the alien ship. Oh crap. Oh, we're coming in hot. This is going to be ugly. Prepare for the lag. Oh! Oh, I think we broke the game. Actually, no, we landed. I mean, we landed on the alien ship, but we landed. Alright, I had to reset the whole world here. I had to reset the save. The game didn't like me crashing into the mothership. So, let's go ahead and take a little walk through here. I've flown this thing a couple times, and I'm not very good at flying it. I'll probably throw a quick clip in there. I really want you to go check out the video if you want to see this thing fly. And also in that video, he's got the uh, download. So if you want to download this world, I know a lot of people ask me to download viewer creations, and I don't host them. So, anyways, let's look at the uh, spider web here. The spider web is pretty scary. It's actually not as bad as the other ones, to be honest with you. I think um, the main thing you're seeing here, everything's going to thrusters, so it looks really complicated, but it's not like, they're not going across each other like in the other craft, so a little bit more straightforward. Uh, let's see, let's hop up in here. Now, let me go here to the left. He's got these little bays, and I talked to him a little bit about this, and hopefully he's still going to do it. He's going to try to build a couple small ships here. And you can kind of carry them around in the big one. I'm not sure how the game's going to react to that, but I would like to see that. Uh, this is probably, I would guess, maybe the core or the power source of the ship. Up here, this looks like a observation deck. Let's see. Yeah, there's no controls up here. Uh, I flew this earlier, but I seem to like just rush up to the top and started flying. Like, I, got, I got immediately to the deck. I didn't actually explore this, so I might be a little lost here. I know to get up to the deck, you follow these lines, and you look up here, he's got this seat, so hop up. Now that's a really cool uh, window design, he's using the uh, new glass, I guess you can still call it new glass, it's got a neat little design there. Uh, let's see, where do I want to go next, let's go ahead and go back here before we go to the main deck. It's got a couple areas you can kind of step out, would be really cool, like I said, when you're flying with other people to walk out and check all those out while it's in the air. Uh, here, this is a system he's got going. I don't really want to explain it. He's got these sensors. The uh, thing turns over. I'm assuming this is how he's turning the craft. Uh, this is probably probably the most complicated part of the whole machine, I would guess. Uh, to me, I don't really know how he gets this thing to turn. So, Oh, those are sliding doors. Those were open when I got in here last time. So I didn't, I didn't even notice that. Uh, let's see, this is a little control room really love the curved glass like the way he's got it wrapping around the whole area here it's really neat he's got a second deck here with some more chairs 
Uh, here, this looks like a hologram. I watched his video. At first, I was a little confused by what it was, but now it makes sense. It's like a hologram. Uh, back here, really nothing. You can just step out on the top of the uh, machine. Let's go down to the bottom here. Now, this is the point of the video where I'm supposed to jump in the cockpit, start playing with the controls, and attempt to fly this thing. But, it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen at all. And I'm going to show you why that's not going to happen. Okay, folks, somehow I've parallel parked an alien mothership in between two trees. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this viewer creation. I always enjoy seeing Moombo stuff. I normally probably wouldn't repeat showing somebody else's stuff again, or at least the same person, but we've taken on 10,000 subs since the last time we checked out his stuff. So I really think he deserves a couple more subs, so if you want to go over there and check out his channel, do that. But anyways, we will do Turmoil tomorrow, and then we're going to start up next week and we'll start some more Scrap Mechanic. Start working on the town some more. Maybe I can get Moombo over there and we can do some stuff together. But anyways, hope you enjoyed the episode and we will see you guys next time. Thank you.